welcome back. So I've decided kind of last minute that I'm going to do a Halloween day vlog because Halloween takes place on a Saturday. So I was able to get most of my homework done today, not all of it, but the idea is that I'm going to try and spend all of tomorrow um, reading spooky books and watching spooky movies and doing as many Halloween themed things as I can. Hopefully we'll also carve our pumpkins, right babe? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's 1 a.m. on Halloween and I just uploaded a video that I meant to upload on Monday. <laughs> so that didn't happen. Uh, but I have another video that I want to upload and then I want to like kind of film my day doing Halloween things and then upload that the next day. But anyway, I'm going to try and start reading. I'm going to start the spooky reads with Catherine House, which is a dark academia that I recently got and I am really excited for. So. Yeah, this is just going to be a very short, just kind of like, this is what I think I'm going to do for Halloween. So, I'll catch up with you guys after I have gone to bed, woken up, and started my day. So, see ya in just a second. Good morning and happy Halloween. It is about 9.40 in the morning. I slept in a little later than I wanted to, but at the same time, I wasn't sure I had an alarm set, so thankfully I did, and I woke up at 9. So there are a couple of things that I do have to do today other than just sitting and reading. Um, but I did start reading Catherine House. I'm on page like 10, and already I love the roommate so much more than the main character. So this is going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, so there are a couple of things I'll have to do today, but hopefully I can still spend a majority of it reading a few books and then watching at least Hocus Pocus and probably something else. So, I'll catch up with you guys when it's like a little more significant in the day. about to go get in the car to drive my husband to work and then go to Target, get some candy, and go to the post office because I ordered a package of two books, Hunting Prince Dracula and Lock Every Door, and they were supposed to come on Thursday, and the idea was I would have them in time for Halloween, to read them on Halloween. Today is now Halloween. And they, it's, the package said it was delivered, but it, it wasn't. Like, I flat out didn't get it. I had ordered two books at the same time, all one order, and those books came. They came on the 23rd, no problem. So, like, there's nothing wrong with the address or anything like that. That package just hasn't arrived. So I was going to go to the post office, I was going to go to Target and get a bag of mixed candy and, like, bring my husband to work. And then all of a sudden we get in the car and we start to move and the engine is roaring and screaming and just like making this loud deep growl and we have a Prius like our car is a Prius it is a silent like quiet like you don't know it's on until it's moving sort of car like it doesn't make noise and then for all of it to make this loud low grumbling noise every time I try to move it was like oh my word what's going on what something's wrong with the engine which is really bad obviously and it's not like it's something we can just have fixed and I'm afraid to take it anywhere but we can't afford to have it taken anywhere um, 
But yeah, so now my husband has to take public transportation to work and we live in Minneapolis and he works in St. Paul. So what turned into a 10 minute car ride to get him to work is now going to turn into anywhere from half an hour to an hour of public transportation, thus making him super late for work and meaning that I can't go to the post office because it's way too far to walk. I can still walk to Target, but I'm still really annoyed at like what all of the sudden is wrong with her car and why don't I have my books? <laughs> like, there's no good reason for me not to have my books. And I'm very disappointed. So I'm st now I have to walk to Target, which is gonna take a lot more time than I planned. Um, and I don't actually currently have an audiobook, so I might try and find one before I go so I can continue reading. But I don't know. I'm just really annoyed about the car and now I, and I don't have my books and so <sighs> Halloween is starting to fall apart and it's only like 12, 10. It's just barely into the afternoon. So, yep. We'll see. I'm probably going to start walking to Target soon, get some candy, come back, and continue reading. Oh, here is a bookish update for you, though. I'm going to walk over here because my arm is getting tired. So I am one-third of the way through Catherine House, and it's interesting because I feel like not a lot is happening, and yet I'm, I'm still reading it really intently. Like, it's, it's weird because the chapters are like, 40 pages long like they're super long chapters and normally I hate 20 page long chapters but for some reason I'm able to just plow through these no problem which is weird because the only thing that's been happening is the main character is sleeping around partying and drinking skipping classes that's like the only thing that has happened other than like a small plot point here a small plot point there like I just feel like so little is happening for the amount I've read but at the same time I'm still reading it like really quickly and really intently so yeah we'll see I'll, I'll definitely finish the book and definitely today it's just now I'm gonna have less time to read because I'm gonna have to walk 20 minutes to Target so yep I'll catch up with you later so I got back from Target and I got the candy and I got some cookies and I got some mac and cheese but a huge thing I wanted to get while I was there was apple cider because we finished our apple cider a while ago and I want more and the snow has finally melted so it feels like fall again and it's Halloween I want apple cider and Target didn't have any apple cider what they had instead was eggnog and don't get me wrong I love eggnog but it's Halloween we're in the middle of fall. Like, I get that people start drinking eggnog in November because people start celebrating Christmas in November. But seriously, there should still be apple cider. It's still apple season. Oh, so I'm really annoyed. I'm just, I've been having, been having not the best day here, people, which really sucks because I've been looking forward to Halloween for the past, like, two to three months. I've been, like, preparing for this day. But just so many things have happened and it's just it's been a frustrating day so I'm going to relax and watch some booktube and I might put some Halloween nails on and I'm gonna eat some cookies and I'm gonna just relax a little bit and then I'm gonna continue reading Catherine House so yeah we're gonna do some of that now watching some YouTube videos I've done a little bit more reading uh, my neighbors are blasting music 
from across the hall. And they do this all the time, and it's very distracting, very annoying, but they do it all the time. So hopefully I can still, I mean, I can still read, it just it annoys me. But now that I've finished with the, with the videos and just kind of calming down from what all has happened today, I have turned on a 10 hour long video of just a fire crackling to kind of give it like a warmer atmosphere. Um, and I'm reading more of Catherine House and I am just about halfway through and I'm still having very much the same vibes as before where it's like all it talks about is her skipping class, drinking, and repeat. And so I just find it to be very repetitive but I refuse to stop reading it and I don't know why so I'm gonna go finish this now. actually two days after Halloween. It's November 2. I didn't film a wrap-up at the end of Halloween like I was hoped to, uh, hoping to. I just ran into just a bunch of technical things and I just can't, I had a harder day on Halloween which was such a bummer like with the car not working and then me not getting uh, the couple of horror spooky thriller books like actual horror thriller books that I wanted to for Halloween um, and just contacting the post office and then being like I don't know, it said your package delivered, but you didn't get it, so we'll, we'll see if we'll do anything. Like, And then I went to Target, and I was going to record like all the different candy options, and I was going to be like, oh, which one am I going to buy? And then my as soon as I pulled my phone out, it was like, and you're at 30% battery, but you're going to die. So I, and then later on, after I charged my phone, I had like some issues with filming, and so the day just kind of like, fell apart a little bit. Um, luckily I still got some footage of us um, carving pumpkins and watching, we, well we watched, we watched like Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, and we started The Haunting at the High House, The Haunting of Hill House? Yeah, The Haunting of Hill House, as well as rewatching Charmed. Um, I also, just a quick side note, I did my nails to be like little pumpkins. <laughs> I mean, like, they're, they're the kind that were pre-made and I put them on. I'm not talented with nails at all. But, yeah, so, like, Halloween was just kind of hard, but I had a great night with my friends in costume and carving pumpkins and watching. Um, 
so, but because our car broke down, I had to spend a lot more time read, not reading when I was hoping to read. So I only read Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. Um, I was hoping to read this and at least one other book. I was going to read The Summoning, which is the start of the Darkest Powers trilogy, but I didn't quite get there. But I did read this entire book, and this book is a dark academia. And I gave it 3 out of 5 stars, but I was honestly debating giving it 2. So it was more so a Halloween vlog uh, slash Catherine House vlog. But yeah, so Catherine House is a dark academia book where the idea is that you apply and you go through a rigorous... Um, application progress to get in. You spend three years studying here and then when you graduate you can be whatever you want, have whatever career you want, um, you know, be however successful you are, but if you don't graduate, bad things happen or you just can't not graduate. Um, I believe it was like if you didn't graduate you die, but that really wasn't very prominent in the book. I, so like I said, I gave it like Three out of five stars, debating on lowering it to two for the following various reasons. Um, first off, uh, I didn't like many of the characters. I feel like they weren't super fleshed out. Um, I felt the book was extremely repetitive um, because I felt that, so the first year of her at the universe, or at Catherine House was interesting, but that's just because they're learning how to do things but it was very much she her daily routine was wake up don't go to class get drunk sleep with someone repeat and then one one big actual event happened in year one and then year two was wake up sometimes go to classes get drunk sleep with someone repeat and i just felt like that's all that happened in year two and then when i got to year three it was very much wake up most of the pretty good go to class uh get drunk sleep with someone repeat but then like the ending but then the last 50 pages it started to actually accelerate into a story with a plot with an idea with a purpose but then the last 10 pages it just completely flopped and it was very anticlimactic and it seemed way too easy for her to just for the book to just end the way it did. It really wasn't that great of an ending, in my opinion. Um, and then a whole, a major theme in the book that seemed like it was supposed to be plot points, but it was more of a theme rather than a plot, was that um, there's this thing called plasm, and that's what the, that's what Catherine House studies, like that's kind of what they're known for, like scum schools are known for their nursing degrees, others are known for business, and blah 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 they seem to be known for their new materials plasm program but uh the author did not describe plasm in a way that i understood it was very much like a, oh everyone at catherine house knows what it is because it's what they do so we're i'm gonna very briefly tell you what it is but i'm sitting here like i have no idea is it like matter is it what things are made up of and so the idea is that you're mending things or like it just wasn't explained very clearly or in a way that I was able to understand what plasm was and then for that to be such a big theme in the book I just kept getting lost at what was happening and then like a lot of the descriptions were things I didn't care about and then the things I did care about I didn't get descriptions for um and there were just a lot of lines in there that was literally like why was this necessary why was this kept in there like who edited this book I, I obviously it was edited and it was like well written but the like i said the descriptions threw me off there were lines in there that i was like that really wasn't that was not something i wanted to picture because it was like i just i just didn't need to um and yeah and i feel like it didn't get very like intense until the last 50 pages where you could kind of see the psychological thriller take hold and then like i said the the ending was just so anticlimactic that it seemed like everything just dropped and it was like too easy or kind of like they had given up on the ending <laughs> i feel bad saying all these bad things about the book but that's in my opinion that's what i thought i thought this book just didn't have much of a plot and the theme that it stuck with, I didn't understand and then was not consistent. 
And so that was the book that I read on Halloween. It was, yeah, Catherine House. Like, I don't know, I was still very encaptured by it though. Just because it seemed like I was reading the same thing over and over again with like, not the descriptions that I want. Like, it wouldn't describe places or people. It would be like, I went to the bathroom, I peed. I then went and did this and I was like, I, what was the whole point of, I don't need to picture that. <laughs> I don't need that to be what I take away from this section of the scene. And so I just felt like with so much of that in there, it just, it didn't quite, I don't know, but I was still encaptured. I was still wanting to read more. I was still actively like, I want to keep reading. I want to know what happens because I desperately wanted there to be a better explanation about plasm and how the students were being affected by plasm and the horror psychological aspect of it which like i said i got in the last 50 pages but again there was no satisfactory ending um so yeah that's kind of what i thought of the book and then that's all i did on halloween is i read this book carved pumpkins watched like Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, and started watching The Haunting at Hill House. So, you know, it was okay. I dressed up, I was in costume, I had a couple close friends over. Halloween was pretty good. It's just the only book I read with Catherine House, and it really, in my opinion, was not my cup of tea. Or as the characters do at every single meal, it was not my cup of wine. Yeah, they were served wine at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then they drank harder liquor in between it. And that was, and I was just sitting here like, how do you expect to like actually study and graduate if you're just consistently drinking and drunk? Like that part of the thing also didn't make sense. Like as a university student, it's extremely hard to study and pass classes if you're constantly drinking. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so that is going to be the end of this video, and then I will have a video about um, kind of what I'm going to read in the next couple months of the year, and I'll start kind of doing yearly wrap-ups and like what I want to read November, December, so subscribe if you want to get notified for those videos, as well as feel free to like this video, comment down below what you did on Halloween, what you read, what you watched, what you did, super, I just want to hear from you guys. Um, so yeah, feel free to do all those YouTube-y things, and until I see you guys in the next video, I wish you a happy reading!